Hi, Internet viewers. Frank Rauscher again. Hey, we finally got done the owl, okay? I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, it was a challenge, if nothing else. Had a lot to do with the painting. Not only that, but the carving, too. And uh, I, uh, uh, in a way, I'm glad it's over. I couldn't believe how long it took. I think it was, uh, I started about seven months ago. And there's like 47 videos on it. So <laughs> it was challenging. And I knew it would be because there was a lot to it. But I'm just uh, going to put this video out so I can uh, let everybody know that uh, I do have a new project coming on. And I finally got that finished. And it took me a little bit longer than I expected because I didn't plan my time right. And that's always the case. And I'm going to do a goldfinch. So this is a real pretty bird. It's got some real nice color in it and everything else. This is the male. And uh, I would hope that you would uh, join me on this project as well. It's a really uh, a neat, neat bird to do. And uh, I had... I believe I did a class in this a while back, but uh, I, for some odd reason, maybe the original one I did, I sold or something like that. I just didn't have it around. But I wanted to at least show you, uh, to let you know, I'm going to be starting this. Uh, my next video will be, we'll get into how to uh, cut the blanks out, uh, uh, set up how to cut it on the, on the bandsaw and everything else in the way we, the way I approach it, okay? And I want to give you just a heads up on this. And if anybody is interested in doing the project, uh, I will have patterns like this, uh, which uh, will give you the information on how to do it with measurements and everything else and the feather layout to scale. And uh, that, that I have the kits as well, if anybody wants it, where you get the eyes, the feet, the pattern, and the basswood blank. And uh, that gives you everything you need other than you just going at it, you know. Uh, I also have uh, catalogs available uh, if anybody wants any uh, for uh, bits or equipment or the kits. Uh, or like in the case of what I did with the owl and the same way here, I had the, the reindeer moss, which is a real neat, it, it just dresses things out on it. And uh, if you're interested in any of that, that's really inexpensive. Uh, but if you need any, I carry that as well. I do have driftwood and I have bases. And uh, if you need paints or brushes, I have that as well. So I've got a variety of stuff. Now, uh, if you get my catalog, not everything is in there, but if you approach me on it, I'll, I'll try to put you on to the right items to get. You don't always need everything on bits and, and brushes and everything else. I, I do it uh, with a minimal amount of uh, equipment, I should say. Uh, and, uh, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, uh, and, you know, if you have sources, hey, go for it, you know, but uh, I'm just uh, giving you an idea that I have things available. If you need, like, five-minute epoxy, stuff like that. I don't carry super glue, and when you see me uh, use super glue on the beaks to get that bony structure out of the, that portion of the bird or something like that, uh, I use the super glue, and most of the time I'll buy that. The, probably the the cheapest super glue you want to get is like at a dollar store or something like that. And you get a couple tubes, and that'll last you for a while, quite a while. And that's exactly what we want. We don't want the gapping glue, which is in a green container. This is in a red container, uh, and it's got a red cap on it. And it's, uh, it's very liquidy, so when you apply it, you only put a little bit on, use the nozzle, 
to spread it around and that gives you let that dry and then sand it slightly that gives you a bony look i don't know if i uh well i didn't do it on the owl but i do it on most birds so uh if you need stuff like that that's the place to get it and uh and i'll, I'll try to guide you in, in the right direction so you're not spending a heck of a lot of money and i always sell tell anybody i I sell like the ramp grinders and I have the Fordham uh, portable uh, micro grinders as well. And that's really nice. It's battery operated and you can walk around with it. And uh, it, it, it uh, does a beautiful job. And the hand piece is so light and thin. So if anybody's ever interested in that, I have that on the front end of my catalog and I got good, good prices on that as well. So, uh, if you're ever interested in uh, any of that, definitely contact me, and that's through my uh, email address, which is Rauscher, R-A-U-S-C-H-E-R, -E Frank, F-R-A-N-K, 7, at gmail.com. And uh, if you want to also put it in the body of my, uh, if you want to contact me, you can contact me through the, the comments section in this video and you can get back to me that way. And usually I'll answer you and, and give you the information there. Uh, or you can even go to uh, where I uh, publish most of my uh, videos. You can go in to YouTube and get that on my breakdown of my background as well as uh, uh, a lot of other stuff that I've done. I've been carving for too many years to, uh, <laughs> that uh, I, I enjoy it. So uh, that's the reason why I'm here. And I'm trying to give you a full lessons as if I was teaching classes. And uh, I give you as much information as I can get and I'll always try to reference uh, information to you, like other books or stuff like that. I had one gentleman uh, that just asked me how I developed my patterns, and uh, I was trying to clarify that with him, that I've done this so long that I, I have an ability to draw, so I can look at like a profile of a bird, or if you get a book, you know, reference books on birds or whatever, I could start with that and then I get it. I have a general idea of the size of the bird and I can pretty much make patterns out of it and, and move the head around or fluff it up for a winter scene where they fluff their feathers up. So I, I, I have a way of changing them and I've done this over the years. I also use skins early in the game uh, that I had that were available to me from a private collection but there are a lot of good books out there uh, that give you patterns. And uh, uh, there is also a source, uh, Stiller's Patterns uh, give you uh, real, uh, they're decent patterns. There's, that, they're not the only ones, there's other ones out there as well. And if you need references, I can guide you in that direction. But Stiller's one, and I believe, uh, there's, he's passed away, Mr. Stiller, but I believe uh, uh, there's another supplier out there. So if you look up, up you look up uh, Stiller patterns, you can still get them. Okay, so they are available out there, and that's one way of doing it too. You know, I I actually reference books in the beginning when I first got started. And then after that, I, I just have the ability to draw pretty well and, and, and map out and come up with uh, different poses and things like that. Uh, I, and you can always learn, not only from me, but from anybody else. I'm showing you my techniques and how I go about doing it. Uh, and, uh, but learn from anybody. I mean, uh, I'm just, uh, breaking you in on on the, uh, the power carving end of this 
but uh, there are some great carvers out there and uh, if I ever get around to it I'm, I'm still trying to uh, put about three or four carvers that have used my videos and have had fairly good success with the carvings and I do want to get them out to you to show you so that'll be coming along the way as soon as I learn how to uh, get a still shot in and then talk behind it so I can uh, praise the the carvers that did each one and uh, I will be doing that I'll be like a uh, a short video rather than some of my long ones and I apologize when I get going as far as instructional uh, uh, information on the videos it's uh, it, it can get lengthy and I hate to just stop in the middle of something and uh, I've done that with the painting on the owl because there's just so much detail on it and uh, but this time around with the goldfinch I guarantee you uh, that it will come together a lot faster and you don't have uh, a lot of craziness with the painting, okay? Uh, once we get the, the carving done, the painting goes fairly fast and easy, okay? So I just want to give you that heads up on that. So, like I said, if you're interested in anything, the patterns that I create, you know, in the blanks or whatever, uh, I, I have them available. And uh, just uh, give me a holler and we'll get you started maybe doing the goldfinch, okay? So uh, I just want to get this video out just to let you know that's coming. Uh, next video, we'll actually get down to how I uh, make a cut out the blank cut patterns out and everything else so I'll I'll give you all that information and then I'll actually show you how to cut them out on the bandsaw and then we'll move on and I'll show you how to shape it and the whole bit so uh, stay with me and this shouldn't be as bad as the the owl uh, it, it's it's much quicker so see you on the next video thank you